All right, welcome along. We are now live at the uh, Queenstown Ice Arena for the final game of the NZWIHL season. Uh, well, the, the series this weekend, the final two games between the Wakatipu Wild and the Dunedin Lady Thunder. My name's Bill Falcone. I'll be doing the play-by-play -play and color commentary will be with Joel Hasselman. Yeah, we're looking at a pretty exciting matchup this uh, this weekend. We got a top of the table uh, team in the wild and a bottom of the table team in the uh, Dunedin uh, Women's Thunder here, but that doesn't mean anything the wild can walk over this weekend. They've really got to be prepared and ready to play because this is a chance to get themselves that number one seed at the end of the season here. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, when both teams played steel previously and Dunedin was able to get uh, quite a few goals against them, especially er early on. Uh, the Wild coming off their trip up to Auckland. Um, I don't think the Steel was playing at their best. They, they definitely have to, uh, they'll be a contender in the uh, finals. But yeah, definitely Wild definitely cannot take uh, lightly the Dunedin Lady Thunder. No, it, it looks like we're in for a real exciting weekend of hockey here with both teams really motivated with Dunedin still able to pull themselves up the rankings to maybe get into that third place spot before the end of the weekend here. So the officials for tonight's game, the uh, referee is Ben Rado, and the linesmen are Aaron Chisholm and Adam Nagy. Nagy with Morrison's Pub. Looking at tonight, we're looking at our uh, starting lineups for both team. For, for the Dunedin Ladies Thunder, starting in goal for them, number 21, Maddie Fox. She's played every minute for the Thunder so far this season, and tonight is no different. She's been the busiest goalie of the year, averaging almost 40 shots against the game. Uh, on the other side, starting in goal for the Wakatipa Wild, we have number 25, Jordan Wickman. She's played, this will be her fourth game of the season. She has had a very, very good start to the season. In those three games, she's only her goals against average is 1.64 with a save percentage of 90.74. So that's putting her third on the table of goaltenders there. So she's looking to have another good game this evening. Yeah, she had a rough start up in uh, Auckland. She let in uh, three pretty easy goals, and then all of a sudden she just closed the door on them. Yeah, that was really impressive performance that second half of that game, really helping them get that win up there and help with that sweep of that series. Absolutely. So we want to give a few shout outs quickly before we get started. Uh, we have uh, Kelly Nelson, captain of the Wild. Uh, her team's watching up in Minnesota, United States. Also Bobby Weeks, her family up in Canada. So we give a shout out to them. Lova's family in Sweden, and we're away. Puck goes back to the back of Dunedin's and they're bringing it out from the goal line up to the point intercepted by Kelly, back to the blue line and almost kept in. Now through center ice and intercepted by the Wild. Dunedin dumps it into the zone and I'll have a quick line change. Wakatipu hits it out from behind their own net and a pass out to Kelly Nelson and Lova picks it up, goes into the zone but broken up, almost gets a shot away, but not quite. Dunedin now brings it into center ice. Dunedin. And into the zone, broken up by Nelson. And dumped into the Dunedin zone. And left out in front of the net. Pass back to the blue line, quick. And a score! Just really good forechecking by the Wild there, getting that puck off the dump in there, and a great shot from the point by, I believe that was, that was number 90, 92, Two, Helmer. Gracie Helmerich. Yeah, that was, a, that was a great shot from the point, put the Wild up one nothing, one minute into the first here. Great start for the Wild. Not sure if it was, uh, could have been Hollier that got that, I'm not sure yet. Could have been 32. 
yeah, either way, either way, it was a great shot from the point and a great start for the Wild getting on the board early. Absolutely. So Wax Tipu intercept the pass, take it into the zone, goes behind the goal line, Dunedin gets to it first. And picked up, looks like Weeks tries to stuff it around. And not quite there, back to the neutral zone. And now dumped in within an offside. Yeah, Bobby Weeks had a very impressive uh, series up in Auckland. Yeah, those are our first, uh, first two games of the year that weekend in Auckland there, pop, popping two goals in there. So that was a very, very good start to the season for herself. Yep, Wakatipu brings it into the neutral zone, tries to dump it in, but Dunedin take it back behind their goal line. And we'll start afresh and bring it out. So she'll skate it out into the neutral zone, hits the official skates and picked back up by Dunedin, thrown to the right side and they'll head into the zone. It's good work broken up by Wakatipu will be brought into the neutral zone. And good pick up by Healy. Dunedin now have it in their zone. Flush it out, but can't make the connection with the pass, and Wakatipu will dump it back, and it's just a bit of sloppy play in neutral zone. So the puck's dumped back in behind the uh, goal line for Walker Tip, and Emma will pick it up, bring it out, pass up to Lova, out to Nelson, and broken up by number six, and pushed back into Walker Tip zone. Now we have Lova bringing it into the zone. Nelson drifting in, tries the centering pass, broken up, Kelly has it behind the net. And they're gonna try and set up the house, dumps it to Lova. Lova back to Kelly, but just slip past. Take it back to the blue line and into neutral. The need intercepted and 23 takes it into the zone. Followed up, but picked up by Kelly. Dunedin doing a really good job at the start of the game here, containing that uh, Nelson uh, Davies Holmquist line, that's our most dangerous line the Walker Keeper Wild have this weekend. Absolutely, as we see here, an outlet pass to Lova. Tries to get past the descender, defender, but broken up nicely by number four. And Lova will be coming out for a rest. Again, they try and start in against the boards in the Dunedin zone. And it's gotten out by Walker Tip, but the pass can't get to the opposite point. And now Hollier takes it nicely into the zone, gets past the D, and has it behind the goal line. Needs some support, and uh, isn't able to get some. So it's dumped back in, as 16 chases down. Well, Forchuk doing a really good job of him and the Thunder in their own, own, own end. They haven't really had much offensively so far yet this game, as we have a quick turnover. As we say now, and they okay. intercept and take a shot. But again, outlet to. Nice give and go there, but intercepted by 26 from Dunedin. Brought back around and kept in the zone nicely by Emma for the wild. And now Dunedin goes on a breakaway. Oh, great save by Whitman. Uh, Emma will bring it out from behind her own goal. And again, Dunedin able to forward check. Oh, beautiful crossing pass. Just wasn't able to make the connection. Yeah, Dunedin looks like they've stepped up the forward checking and a bit of pressure on now, but it's outlaid to the Lova with Nelson. Oh, this is dangerous. And Kelly, goal! Kelly Nelson with another goal. Fantastic follow-up effort, <clears throat> effort there by that line. You can't leave those three uh, alone in front like that. That's almost a guaranteed goal every single time. Yeah, absolutely. Dunedin was a little bit slow getting support back. So with 14.33 in the uh, first period, Wakatipu lead 2-0.
Wakatipu wins again. Lova takes it into the zone. Behind the net. Oh, Ooh, tries to like shovel it backwards and a goal! Lova! Just adding to their, their lead, uh, close to lead league in totals of the line for uh, goals this year. I believe that's 12 from Lova and Kelly alone just throughout the season. That's quite impressive. They certainly went through four games. So we're back for face-off weeks for Wakatipu. Back to Hollier and dumps it up. Dunedin breaks it up. Number 10 picks it. And now Weeks has it back again. But changing hands. Six dumps it into eight in Dunedin. And now they're on the offensive. Turnaround shot went a bit wide. Back out to the left side. And just in along the boards. Looks like still just, <laughs> oh, here we go. Now it's finally dumped out, and this could be icing if it gets far enough. No, waved off. And Dunedin will start in their own zone. Gets to neutral. And outletted to 26, takes it into the Wakatipu zone, but broken up and dumped forward. Icing is waved off as it made contact with the player in the neutral zone. And now Dunedin will bring it out from behind their own net. Thunder looking a little bit more comfortable after that second goal, third goal there, just uh, getting a little more offensive zone time in here. They need to get a little bit more of that to try and get back into this game early. Yeah, it could make for a long night for them if they don't pick it up. Oh, good play there by the goalie with the puck coming off the backboard across the front of the net. Wakatipu coming around top of the circle, dumps it backwards. Picked up, oh, centering pass, just shot wide. Dumped back down behind the net. And they're trying to set up the house. Lova back to Kelly. Oh, fantastic save, save there by Fox. Good she save. is. She felt that one. That looks like it hurt her a little bit. So Kelly back into the zone. Needs some support from other players. Coming around, centering pass. It's one timer wasn't able to pull the trigger. And Dunedin skates it out from their own. And through neutral ice, cross center ice, and try and dump it into the zone. Shot knocked down by the by Mills, and then she'll center it out into neutral zone, but picked up by Dunedin and dumped back in. Wakatipu now brings it around, and it's kicked off a skate. It's going to go down. No icing, waved off. And intercepted. Held a stick and puck is just sitting there. And finally it's blown dead. Yeah, the Thunder are just, uh, they're, they're getting a little bit more offensive zone time, but they're just struggling to find an answer for the very high powered offense the Wild have going here. They've just been controlling the play from the start of the game here. So they look to see if they can find an answer. And it looks like uh, Fox is down. She uh, looks like she took it in the collarbone off a shot from Nelson a little bit earlier, and she's starting to feel that one, which is not good for the Thunders. They don't have a backup goalie with them uh, this evening. Yeah, they're allowing her an injury timeout, are they? Yeah, it's uh, having taken a few shots of the collarbone like that before. That does not feel very good. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. I wouldn't <laughs> want to be on the receiving end. Well, let's hope she's able to recover. 
Yeah, it could be a very, very long night for, for Dunedin if they need to find, uh, find someone else to play goal. Well, we'll continue with uh, some shout outs. So hopefully Minna Risky Jones is watching with her family in Finland. And also Tallulah Bryant, hopefully watching from over in North America. She played the uh, first series while Bobby Weeks was away. But now that Bobby's back. Yeah, that's good she's staying in. Game continues and we're back to face off. The Eden wins the face off, take it behind their own net. And they'll try and shoot it out. It gets into the neutral zone, pushed forward, and Dunedin takes it into Waktipu zone, picked up by Hollier. She's going to start to skate it out. She crosses the red line, takes it all the way down, and it's picked up. 36 had a shot, but saved. That's a great rush from the D by Hollier there. She's very, very confident rushing the puck, and that's a great offensive tool to have from the back end. Yeah, absolutely. She's done a terrific job this year. She's getting more confidence. And yeah, it's, uh, it's good seeing, and there's so many, so many young, talented ladies playing in this league, and her being 17 years old, the future of this league is looking very, very bright. Definitely. So, Wakatipu wins the faceoff. Nelson shoots wide, picked up from Dunedin, but... Now they knock it into neutral and Kelly is back to get it. She'll pass it back to Emma. And Emma will look to get it out of the zone. Nelson to Lova, Lova into the zone, around the defense, but number eight picks it up, wraps it around the wheel, and it goes into neutral zone. 27 picks up, but it's well, almost- Great a defensive play by Emma there. Yeah, good recovery there. And Dunedin now picks it up as a one-on-one. -on -one. Gets through and Jordan knocks it away. Lova picks it up deep in the corner and brings it across blue ice, uh, the blue line. and Intercepted by a number five for Dunedin and she dumps it into the zone behind the Waktipu net. And 23 is unable to get there first. Kelly will dig it out and she'll start in into the neutral zone on the offense. She has Mills to her right, and, and she had Spooner to her left, but they weren't able to pull the trigger on a shot. Fox got a little bit of a bump there from Nelson when she ran into the net there. She's still getting a little shaken up here. She's uh, back up on her feet, but we'll watch that throughout the rest of the game here. So Weeks picks up the pass behind the net, tries a backhander, oh. and goal! I think Weeks got her own yeah, rebound. Yeah, fantastic individual effort by Weeks there. That's a, that's a great play out of the corner to get your own rebound and bury it yourself. Steve a wild fan, you couldn't have asked for a better start than this. Four goals in the first 10 minutes. That's uh, that's just what this team can do to you if you give them the opportunity like this. Yeah, and Dunedin was able to do that against Auckland. And, uh, that just about, but uh, Auckland was able to come back. So Wakatipu now Mills takes it into the Dunedin zone. Deep into the corner, trying to get behind the net, rubbed off on the boards. And the puck comes out, number six will skate it out. Into the neutral zone. Weeks is just harassing her. It's good to see the pressure they're putting on. Yeah, it's very easy in a game like this already, this early to kind of take your foot off the gas, think you have it in total control, but it's nice to see them playing hard defensive hockey still, making sure they're doing their job. So Dunedin gets a shot on goals from the point, a bit of a weak shot, but eaten up by Jordan. Yeah, Dunedin hasn't been able to test, uh, test uh, Jordan yet in this game, so they're hoping to get a few shots here in this second half of this first period and uh, 
get uh, Jordan feeling a little uncomfortable in the net there. So Dunedin has it behind the Wak Tipu zone, uh, behind their goal line, bring it back to the point. And shot goes on goal, knocked wide, and Wak Tipu will pick it up. Miller Brown passes across ice, and it's knocked back to neutral, getting some good play for this line. And it's dumped back into neutral. Hayward would bring it out for Dunedin. Nice pass into the zone. Number five has it. She'll get a shot. And it's up and out of play. Good defensive stick there, not allowing them to get a, a shot on goal from what was a very dangerous place on the ice. Yeah, she got in behind the defense a wee bit. But while they're going to want to limit chances like that, even though they're up four goals right now, it can change very, very quickly with a couple quick shots on a good chance like that. So Dunedin wins the face-off, centering pass. Wasn't able to be picked up, but now Lova takes it into neutral zone. Nice pass up in the walk tip. Shot deflected off a skate. 18 has it down in the corner. Tries to take it behind the net, but broken up nicely by number eight, and she'll skate it into neutral. Dumps it forward, will go chase, but Nelson picks it up first. Wraps it around the wheel. And Dunedin keeps it in, but not, it's been dumped. Looks like icing coming. See if the Thunder can take advantage of the, the Wild have had a bit of a long shift there. They've got to stay out with not being able to change on an icing. Take advantage of a bit of a tired group out there and see if they can get something going here. Dunedin wins the faceoff, but kicked off a skate and Nelson dumps it into the neutral zone. It's dumped back in. Players clear and now the Wild will bring it out, but good, good work. Intercepted back to 11 inside of the circle and then dumped in behind the walk tipu net. And Lova shoots it up into neutral zone. And Ke oh, Kelly, good work. And oh, Lova gets a good backhander. Fox. Lova has it behind the net, puts it on the other side. And dumps it in front for 18, who's brought down. No penalty again. And kept in. Oh. Just offside, that was gonna be a very dangerous chance for Weeks in the in the slot there. Nagy with the assertive call. <laughs> so Weeks wins the face off, back to Hollier. She takes it into the zone, brings it around, is gonna get a backhander and right. goal! Holly, a great personal effort there. That's her. That's her second of the night. One from the point, and then uh, then an individual rush there. That's fantastic. So, with five minutes and 56 seconds left in the first period, the Wild have a 5-0 lead. Dunedin's gonna have to do something here. The ice is pretty tilted in, uh, in the Walk Keep the Wild's favor here. Absolutely, Hollier has it back. Dumps it up to Mills, not able to get into the zone. Good, good four checking by 16 from Dunedin. Also 12, Henderson, now she takes it into the Walk Tipu zone, gets a shot. But Jordan knocks it wide, picked up the far side. Dunedin dumps it back in. Walk Tipu now gets it into the neutral ice. Weeks keeping good pressure on, centers picked up by Dunedin, turns around, number eight's gonna get a shot at, ooh, and intercepted nicely. Emma came across, 
She's able to break it up before she get a shot away. Good deflection oh. shot from the point. Definitely the Thunder's most dangerous opportunity so far this game. Starting to get a little momentum in the offensive zone on this shift. See if they can carry it over for the rest of this period and get themselves back into this game. Yep, back to the point, dump it in. They've got their house set up. But Weeks is able to break it up. And now it's gonna be icing against Wakatipu. And a very tired group of Wild. Uh, Wild are stuck on the ice for, for icing the puck there. Yeah, let's see if uh, Dunedin can penalize them or make them pay for the mistake. So Dunedin wins back to the blue line. Shot from the Good. blue line but gets blocked and now it looks like it might be another icing. Yeah, Wakatipu's called for icing again. Girls still can't clear the ice. It's times like this where you're gonna have to rely on your goaltender, like Jordan just made a fantastic save there to get the puck to the corner and hopefully they can get her get the puck back to her to cover it so they can get a change. So Dunedin wins, knocks it down into the corner behind the goal line. Centering pass, but Great that one was there. Great stick by Weeks in the slot there. There's a very dangerous pass up there and she lifted the forward stick and nothing doing. So Dunedin, they'll now carry it into the Wok Tipu zone. Dumps it behind the net and it'll be chased by Dunedin, pick it up and intercepted by is that Bennett? So Wakatipu now dumps it into the zone. 16 had it. Good stick checking by. Oh, nice. Real good opportunity by Miller Brown there, but uh, Fox is equal to the task and makes a very good save. Oh, Wakatipu doing a line change, getting the big guns going in. Maybe they want to capitalize yeah, at the end of the... Put another couple on the board here before we break for intermission. So Dunedin again, well, they initially won the faceoff, but Wakatipu picked it up, and now Dunedin gets it into neutral. Number nine brings it into the zone. Nice personal work, and a backhander goes a little bit wide. And Lova picks it up in the corner, tries a centering pass, but initially kept in by Dunedin. Nelson brings it across, back to Lova, who brings it down, centering pass, but doesn't make it. Now sent back to Hollier at the point, who skates it in and dumps it for Nelson. Nelson dumps it behind the net. Lova picks it up. She's bringing it out, wants to shoot. Nelson had gone in. Deflected wide, Nelson now from the top of the circle, went high. And Dunedin will clear it. Hollier picks it up in the neutral zone, and it gets intercepted by number 10. Good defensive Dunedin, play there by Helmrich. Yeah, good Making, recovery. Helping out her partner who made a, made a turnover at her own blue line. And now Helmrich takes it in, oh! Collision by two Wakatipu players <laughs> as they try a line change. Now Nelson tries to keep it in and she's able to top of the circle. Quick shot, goes wide and will be picked up. Uncharacteristic for Kelly to hit the glass like that and not hit the net. Oh, dangerous shot from the corner there. Absolutely good, good shot from Emma recovering on that, but Dunedin gets it into neutral and Helmrich intercepts it. And now Weeks dumps it back into Emma in her own zone. And Emma will skate it out. Pass is deflected. And Dunedin dumps it back into their Wakatipu zone. But again, Weeks all over her. Now Weeks skates it behind her own net and then out. Tries to get it out, but kept in nicely by number five. Tries a quick turnaround shot, but gets buried and 23 for Dunedin picks it up now 
tries to put it forward, marked out and put into the neutral zone. So now Emma's going to skate it down across the blue line and dumps it. And Dunedin will pick it up. Bring it out, dumping it into the zone. This will be icing if it's strong enough, but now it won't get there. And again, Emma sending it around the boards. See up to, I think that's Nicole. Nicole Watts there, yeah. See if the Thunder can capitalize on this offensive zone in the last minute of the first period here. Oh, oh beautiful centering pass. Yeah. yeah, Dunedin's not getting much puck luck at the moment, but here we go. Opportunity here if they can get it out of the crew. Oh, oh beautiful save. save. And a turnaround stuff and eaten up. Dunedin push the net off. Face off will come outside. Well, they had a couple good opportunities there. Yeah, they're they're knocking on the door, making sure that the Wild got to make sure they clean up their defensive zone there. If they uh, they keep giving up opportunities like that, they could get four, five goals scored on them just that quickly. Yeah, I think it speaks volumes of Dunedin that they haven't uh, become demoralized. No, you know, they, they're really in there scrapping and fighting, and mm -hmm. it's good to see, real good to see. Yeah, five goals is a lot, but it's still uh, still very possible to do in, in two periods of hockey left here. So Wakatupu wins it, and 18 takes it into the zone, trying to bring around good pressure from number eight from Dunedin. And a centering pass to 18, but again, Dunedin able to break it up. As we have about three seconds left in the period, Stump back to 26 and that'll do it. All right, so the end of the first period, Wakatipu Wild lead 5-0 over the Dunedin Lady Thunder. Not much more you can ask from, from the Wild from that period. That's exactly how you want to play it. Good stuff.
right, welcome back to Queenstown Ice Arena. Just about ready to start the uh, second period of Wakatipu Wild and the Dunedin Lady Thunder. So I just want to give a shout out now to the Wakatipu Wild sponsors. Several team sponsors are Morrison's Irish Pub, Margo's Queenstown, Golden Homes, Little Flick Fireworks, Enigma Hockey, Canyon Brewing, Hotel Tahi Tattoos. We also have some team supporters, the Hollier family, Upholstery Workshop out on Glenda Drive, Sign at Signs, Queenstown Outfitters, Shuffle Hub, Queenstown Ice Arena, Rado and Associates, Cooks Brothers, and the Albertson family. Well, very much appreciate all those sponsors, generous contributions. This season isn't possible for them without uh, without having them on board and being a big part of this team. So they very much appreciate that. Yeah, between the uh, periods, I know the uh, they were looking at the Dunedin goalie. She was struggling. I think she's still in a bit of pain. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see her on the bench or in the net here, so I think she might, she might be either getting work done or they're finding a, a replacement player to put the pads on for the rest of the game here. Yeah, let's so hope she's okay. That's the, uh, that's the danger. That's, a, that's a tough, tough bit for the, for the Thunder there, because their other goalie, Ash Ashley Dickinson, she's been uh, recovering from an ankle injury all season, so she's been. Uh, missing an action all year so they they're really missing having her up here this weekend as well without having a, having a second option so uh, hopefully that uh, Maddie Fox is just getting a little physio and jumping back in the net here uh, shortly but we'll wait and see what comes of it all right we'll also give a uh, shout out to the team players from the So we give a shout out to the uh, Christchurch Inferno players. Hopefully they're watching and also the Auckland Steel players. Um, they will be competing next week for the uh, NZWIHL championships that'll be in Dunedin. It's at, on Saturday and sun Sunday. So the 1-4 game is gonna be at about 3.30 3 in the afternoon. And then the uh, second and third place game is gonna be uh, at about 6.30 on Saturday afternoon. So if you happen to be in the Dunedin area and wanna watch some uh, top quality women's hockey, uh, head, on, head on down to the Dunedin Ice Stadium on Saturday and then the finals are, third fourth game is at 7 a.m. on Sunday morning and then the finals will be at 10 a.m. on Sunday. And it uh, looks like the Thunder here are taking a timeout. I don't know if they're giving giving some more time or trying to figure out what's what's going on here. They just had a Thunder player run to the locker room to figure out if their goalie is able to play. And that's terrible news for the Thunder. They're taking a 10 minute timeout here so they can uh, dress a player and goalie equipment here. So obviously Fox is uh, too injured to continue playing for the rest of the game here. Yeah, that's a shame. Sad to see that. Uh, we can only hope that she's not injured seriously and uh, we'll have a speedy return mm -hmm. for the uh, championships next weekend. It's always interesting. It doesn't happen very often in hockey, but having to put a player in net, it's, uh, it's a very interesting second half of the game or whenever you have to do that for the player and the team, someone that's not comfortable playing that position. Yeah. Yeah, but at least the game will go forward, which is nice. And there's lots of players that always say, hey, I want to try goalie. Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you can get the, get the pads on and give it a go. <laughs> I thought that was an intelligence test. <laughs> I don't know, the goalie gets to wear the most equipment out there, so <laughs> seen the most protected, but. Nice, all right, well, we'll run through some of the uh, Wakatipu Wild player sponsors. So we have individual players here. Uh, Golden Homes, 
supports Nicole Watts. Queenstown Carpenters support Lova. Rua Toto supports Dana Bergman. Searchlight Brewery, Bobby Weeks. Lakes Building Company, Gina Davis. Erskine Earthworks, Polly Bennett. And Administration HQ supports Jesse Strain. Easy NZ and Sika support Zanzi. Pilek Jones. NZ supports Lucy Boniface. Stone Set New Zealand supports Neve Spooner. The Locker Room supports Emma. Oh. Number 19. <laughs> I struggle with her surname. <laughs> uh, TJ Tiling supports Manuela Pedrosa. JJ9 Services, Inga Kemp. High Country Carpentry, Gracie Helmrich. And Morrison's Irish Pub, Kelly Nelson. So the players look like they're heading back into the dressing room here, so we're going to just take a little bit of a break break here until the uh, the Thunder replacement goalie is ready to, to get the pads on and get back out onto the ice here. We're going to take a break. This live coverage is brought to you by The Film Group. All right, it looks like uh, Dunedin has gotten the goalie. Uh, number 21 is the anyway, jumper so number. That is the same jersey as Fox because they wouldn't be carrying an extra extra goalie jersey and just not entirely sure who, uh, who drew the short straw to, to get the pads on for the rest of the game. But she looks like she's having a good time right now anyways. Yeah, definitely courageous, especially if she's not used to playing as a goalie. Yeah, it's, uh, it'll be a very interesting second half of the game here. Hopefully they, she got a few pointers in the, in the dressing room before, uh, before she head out there, what the do's and don'ts of being a goalie, five minute guide. Nice, hopefully that's fired up the Neaton. Good sportsmanship there. And we've just been informed that the captain of the Neaton, Abby Heal, is going to be, is the one that's taken up uh, the goaltending duties. Uh, very impressive, very impressive. Yeah, that's very, very common uh, when that happens is the captain usually draws a short, short straw of having, a, having to put the pads on and uh, lead, being a good leader there, putting the pads on and uh, getting ready to play a net here. That's uh, an unfortunate loss on the offensive end because she's one of their top scorers. But 
Well, hopefully she can deny a few goals for Dunedin. So. Just, I'm not sure what the Just waiting for the, the clock to, to restart here. I don't know if we have to wait for the full 10 minutes to count down before we can uh, before we can get back going here because we're down in the last minute of that 10 minute uh, goalie change timeout. So in the meantime, we'll give a shout out to uh, Ricky Lee McLean. Hopefully has her ears and eyes on the screen from the Auckland Steel. About 30 seconds left, and we should get a face off. And also, we'd like to uh, shout out to the ladies down in the in the box there of uh, Tanya. Rachel Fiona for uh, for taking care of uh, the score clock down there. It's very important part of the, part of this game, and we appreciate all the work that they do down there. All right, here we go. Ready for the puck drop, and Wakatipu wins. Knocks it back to their blue line. Back up to neutral ice. Quick pass to Nelson. Knocks it across to, and a quick shot on goal goes a bit wide. And oh, good save by Abby <laughs> Healy there. That's an unorthodox way of doing it, but she got her done for the first two saves of, of her uh, goaltending career. That's an interesting strategy, Joel. It's, uh, you can't teach that in a textbook, but she found a way to keep that puck out of her net. Nah, good on her. She definitely looked like a fish out of water there, <laughs> but very courageous to get in the net. Now Wakatipu doesn't get the face off. Dunedin has it, wraps it around the boards, and Wakatipu's able to keep it in, keep it behind the net. And now it's charged on by Lova, who brings it deep in behind the goal line, tries to bring it out, broken up nicely by defense. And she wraps it back around the boards. Put back out front, turnaround shot, swallowed up by the defense, oh, and then another quick shot. Oh, great save by Healy there. Looks like she's played goal her whole life. She's re fully ready to go. She might be making a change here after tonight. He thinks she might have found a new career. Yeah, she might have <laughs> just missed it the entire time. So now Rock Tipu knock it behind their own net. Looks like Helmrich is going to bring it out. Into neutral zone, knocked back, picked up by Hollier. She dumps it into the round behind the boards, and Bobby Weeks will go in to pick it up, knocks it back. And nobody back at the blue line, so Dunedin will be able to skate it out. And they bring it back around. Zone's cleared, bring it into the zone, hit the official, and it's tied up along the boards. See a real scramble for the puck, and Dunedin's able to bring it out, but it's broken up nicely and kicked forward. This is just a foot race to the puck. It looks like Dunedin will get there. Healy knocks it out wide, brings it back, and is knocked into neutral zone. Well, Tipu needs to watch their uh, change there. We've got too many men, but they uh, they got away with that one there. Refs weren't watching. Now, yeah, Wok Tipu dump it into the zone. Broken up by number four from Dunedin, who has it against the boards, but it wraps back around behind the net. Good, good pressure there. Is that 48? Is that Gracie? 40, yeah, that's Is 48 that? there. Oh, it's Manuela. So it goes back to the point. Put in front. Wasn't able to pull the trigger on the turnaround shot. And falls. Yeah, didn't even skate it out from behind their net. Knock it into across Great the red break line. Pass there. Let's see if they can get a shot on goal here. Good defensive play by the Wild. It's going to be a delayed offsides. Mad. Yeah. That was a bit sloppy on the uh, line change. There was a continuous delayed offsides, but they didn't play the puck, so play continued. Ooh, right. so you get away with that. Too many men. And now 
Yeah, Dunedin has it taken in the bottom of the circle. It's kicked wide. Back to the blue line, but picked up by Dunedin. And back out now to Lova, to Nelson. And Nelson takes it in. Back to Lova, quick shot. Good save there by Healy again. She's doing very, very well in, in the crease here this first five minutes. So back to the point, now dumped in behind for Lova, centering pass, and a goal! <laughs> Looked like Gina Davis got the rebound. That's just a good hard work and play by the Wild there, cycling the puck down low, finding a spot and just a bit of a broken play right onto Davies stick, Davis stick, and she just had a wide open net to fire that in. Yeah, they say the uh, goalie's only responsible for the first save, and after that, it's the defenseman. So you can't really blame Healy for that one. No, no, she is doing her job on that first save there, but that's just a bit of an unfortunate bounce for them. So we have 16.08 in the second period. Waktipu Wild leading 6-0. Waktipu wins the faceoff, but it's chased in by number eight. Hollier has it behind her own net. Good pressure put on by Dunedin, but she's able to spin out of it, and now she's going to skate it out. And picked up now Nelson in the neutral zone over to Lova. Lova will take it into the Dunedin zone. Down low, turns around, dumps oh, it back. Nice pass there by Holmquist. Just unable to get it to Davis. Now Nelson has it, top of the circle, back to Hollier at the top of the other circle, oh, and a goal! Good shot goal. there by Hollier. Beautiful shot from the top of the circle. That might have been Hollier's third of the game. It's her second for sure. I don't see any hats on the rink yet. No. Could be a hat trick. So Dunedin wins the face off, take it back to their own zone. Ah, oh, delayed offsides. So Weeks and Mills had a good connection there, but uh, unfortunately Mills was still in the zone when Weeks played it over the line. Yeah, that is uh, that was Hollier's third of the game. That's uh, that's a hat trick there. That's a defensive player hat trick. You don't see that very often in any league. Nah, it's very unusual. Good to see though. Another very good young talent that the Wild have that'll be uh, very good in this league for a lot of years to come. Yeah, Caitlin's definitely coming on strong. Confidence is building every week. And it's good to see her back herself mm -hmm. on a lot of plays when she skates it out from the defensive zone. Yeah, and she's being 17, she still skates with the U18 and she uh, she sure does beat up on the boys in practice as well. She, uh, she doesn't make it easy for them out there at all. She's one of the harder hitting ones out there when they do their trainings weekly. So Dunedin win the face-off, take it behind their own goal line, back to the circle, into the neutral zone, but a little bit too far. But yet picked up again, regathered and taken in. A bit off sides there, but puck never entered, so they were okay. Quick play to the opposite side, and Emma picks it up and is going to skate it behind her own net. A little bit of pressure from Dunedin, she wraps it around the boards, back to the blue line, kept in nicely by Dunedin. And they're going to go chase it behind the net. Weeks will bring it up. Dumps it back. And Dunedin, golden opportunity, but unable to pull the trigger on that shot. Now Tipu takes it, top of the circle. Shot goes wide. And now Dunedin is able to knock it up the zone. And back around their own boards. Weeks has it. Digs it out of the corner, back to the blue line. 12 shot wide, and now it'll go to the opposite side. That Manuel wraps it behind the boards to Bobby. Bobby centering pass, back to Manuela. Shot on a goal. Good and it save there by Healy. <laughs> she gives a little celebration there for making the glove save. It's good to see she's still excited to be in the net. Yeah, no, that's a terrific job that she's doing. Teammates giving her much deserved accolades after that one. 
Nice. Also want to give a shout out to, uh, I believe, Christchurch listener Bex Murphy. She has a niece, Jesse Strain, number 24 for the Waktipu Wild. Try the puck Ooh, is dangerous. Play it through the crease there, and we got a penalty coming up to the Wild here. Got a holding call. Yeah, it looks like two minutes for holding. That's on uh, Afia Orr, two minutes for holding there. So a good, good time for a penalty because she probably stopped the sure goal in front of the net there. We'll see if this Dunedin power play can kickstart some kind of offense here in the second period. They only managed to get themselves six shots in the first period, so we'll see if they can improve on that in the second period. So this will be a good test for the uh, defense for the walk tip. And they win the face off, but Dunedin gathers it back, dumps it behind, back out to the blue line, and the shot on goal and oh. score! Oh. Just looked like Jordan didn't see that at all. No, not at all. Looks like that was uh, Laney Kenny from the point there, just kind of a seeing eye shot from the point, and that's uh, that's a that's a good goal. That's a good use of a power play. 11 seconds in to get on the board there. Yeah, that's good to see. Real good to see. Let's see if that lights the fire in Dunedin. And you can see congratulations all around. They want to include the uh, captain down in goal. So Wakatipu lost the face off, but picked up by Lova. She takes it behind her own. The Dunedin net brings it out, turns around, wraps it behind the boards to. Ref Rado getting in the way there. And now Dunedin takes it, dumps it into their own zone. And picked up by Lova, but then centered out from Dunedin. Nelson picks it up in front, out to Davis. Davis to Lova, but broken up nicely by Dunedin. Delayed offsides coming. Walker Tip will clear the zone. Dunedin will have a chance to bring it out. And nice outlet pass. Bit too strong, and Hollier gathers in her own zone. And she's going to go behind her own net and she'll decide to skate it out now. Oh, she lost it. Wakatipu player down. Dunedin's on top of it. Nelson gathers at the behind her own goal line is going to wrap it around the boards. Back to the point. Dunedin will keep it in. Good boxing by Dunedin. But Nelson takes it out across the red line and into the Dunedin zone. Turn around, top of the circles. Second one over the net for Nelson today. She must be trying a different curve on her stick. So Wakatipu, Manuel picks it up. Oh, we're gonna have a penalty coming up against Dunedin. It looks like a penalty. Could be boarding, not sure. And there's the stoppage. Looks like Rosie, Rosie Harris. <laughs> Two minutes for boarding. Let's see what this uh, wild power play can do. like the, the dog is pretty excited for the Wild to have a power play over there in the stands. Yeah, speaking of the stands, great attendance tonight. It's good to see the place pretty full. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is probably the best attending game I've seen for the Wild in their short history, and hopefully it just keeps growing from here. So I walk Tipu wins the faceoff. They're going to knock it back to the point. Back down to the corner centering pass wide. Goes across and a goal! Great shot by Gabby Mills there, finding the far side. Just a really well, well played power play by the Wild there, scoring 13 seconds into that, uh, into that penalty, making that eight to one for the Wild. So we're in the second period, 11:43 left. Walk to the Wild, leading 7-1. You've just joined us. The uh, eight to one. Sorry about that. Score is now eight to one. Um, 
If you've just joined us, the uh, Dunedin goalie was injured in the first period, and their backup goalie was also recovering from an injury. So the captain, Healy, has put the pads on, has taken on the goaltending duties. So Dunedin dump it into their own, into the Waktipu zone, and it's going to be gathered up behind, knocked out, and kept in nicely by Dunedin. 23, Harris keeps it in, but it's picked up by Waktip. And Dunedin's doing a good job of four checking. And it's dumped into neutral zone. And Mills is able to pick it up down in her own zone, bottom of the circle, quick shot, no, blocked nicely by the defenseman. Great defensive play by Cross there, but keeping, keeping Gabby Mills down in the, the corner there, keeping the puck down below the goal line. And Lova brings it back, top of the circle, turnaround shot, goes over the net, kicked out in front. Deneen unable to clear it, and it's dropped back in to the corner where Dunedin will start to skate it out. They'll dump it. This could be an icing. Won't, not sure it'll have enough. Yep, it is. So Dunedin's team is a bit tired. They on the long changeover. And the Wild sending out their top line of uh, Nelson, Davey, and Holmquist again with, against this tired unit. Seeing if they can get another, uh, another one in the back of the net here. So Dunedin wins the face off. Stuck down in the corner, but oh, good checking, good for checking. Nelson puts it centering, kept in nice by Hollier. Fans on a shot, but it's kicked out nicely. Ooh. Oh, a little miscommunication there by the Wild. <laughs> you got it, you got it, but yeah. nobody has it. <laughs> so that'll be picked up by Helmrich. Dunedin has a line change, and it's out to. Gina Davis in front, and is that Kelly? That's yeah, Ke Kelly with another one there. That's uh, that's a very good play. You can see how much the Thunder are trying to protect the house. You got three people in the crease there when that net goes in. They're just trying their best to protect their goalie and keep anything from from their net there. Yeah, Wilds looking strong. So 9:46 left in the second period, and Wakatipu lead 9-1. So Wakatipu win it, but Dunedin pick it up nicely, keep it in the zone, but it gets cleared by Dunedin back into their own zone. And good to see Manuel keeping the pressure on. She did a good job of keeping pressure on also up in Auckland. She's really coming on, I think she's about 15. Yeah, there's another. Uh another young young talent there on on this team just so many so many of the girls here are very young up-and-comers that are going to be intercepted by Dunedin a quick shot on goal but it's kicked out by Jordan back to the point but knock it into the neutral zone 22 across the four she'll dump it into the zone Dunedin enough to chase Emma will collect it from behind her own net and start it out it's kept in nicely by Orr Oops. And kicked around behind the net. And again, Emma will try the other side. Off the boards, able to get it out of the zone. Dunedin gathers, dumps it back in. Turns around and neutral ice into the Waktipu zone. May get a quick shot here. No, broken up nicely. Now Dunedin bring it into the zone, bottom of the circle, try to get a shot off the side of the net. Wrapped around, back to the point. Dump it back in. Mid-circle, crossing pass, out in front, nobody can pull the trigger. Back to number two, good shot from the point. And it's cleared by Wakatip. This looks like it'll be icing. So Wakatip will be unable to have a line change. Wild getting a little careless in their own zone there, just letting uh, let a few opportunities through and see if uh, the Thunder with fresh legs on the on the ice can take advantage of this tired group on for the Wild. 
And we see Jordan in goal giving our usual dance. <laughs> She's always excited to be out here playing, always having a great time. Walk Tip who wins the face off, unable to get it out of the zone and now they dump it, but again, oh, could have been icing but picked up by Dunedin and they'll skate it yeah, into the Walk Tip who zone. Shot wide, wrapped around the boards, picked up number three, dumps it back in and 25 will give chase. And yeah, still fighting for it down in the corner, unable to get it out. And now it's kicked out and into the neutral zone and back into Dunedin zone. Number six will skate it out. And I'll take it across into the walk tip of zone, top of the circle, gets a shot, goes wide. Dunedin dump it back in behind the net. Bennett almost running into ref Roddle <laughs> there. Dunedin pick it up, bottom of the circle. Try centering pass and unable to be picked up. Turn around shot. Oh, it's good save. Oh. No goal, no goal. It's waved off. Yep, they might have been sitting free, but uh, the ref lost sight of it and blew the whistle, so that's why we have no, no goal on the ice right now. That was a good concerted effort by Dunedin. They were able to keep the pressure on there. Yeah, that was a very good offensive shift they had there. They've been gaming a little bit of momentum here in the second half of the second period. So uh, Walker Tipper wins the face off, dump it behind their own net. They need an intercept but can't hold on to it. And now it's good stick checking. Mills dumps it into the neutral zone and it's dumped back in by Dunedin behind the net of the Walker Tip and they'll start out. So Weeks sends it down, passes it to, I think that's Mills. She brings it down behind the net. Wrap around, turn around shot, but defense eats it up, gets a quick shot. Away with a save by Healy, back to the point. Dump back down to the bottom of the circle, back to the point. Cross ice, kept in the zone nicely there. A good puck moving by the Wild here in the offensive zone. Turn around, but it's knocked into neutral zone. Dumped in, and now there'll be a line change for Wakatipu. Nelson, Hollier, and Lovell bring it out. Back to Hollier. Oh, good defensive play there to prevent her from getting the shot away. And Dunedin takes it into the zone. Needs some support, but knocked out by Lova and dumped back in by Dunedin. Hollier will send it up. Spooner gets it, nice pass to Nelson. Nelson will take it in, has Lova on the other side, but good play by the defense. Back to Spooner. Spooner brings it around behind the net. Lova has it back to Hollier. Hollier dumps it back down to Spooner. Now nah, Gina Davis, sorry. Good job by the Thunder keeping these, uh, these ladies to the outside of the wild here. And they're just transition here, see if they can get something going offensively. So Davis clears it out to Nelson. Nelson over to Lova. Lova can't get a hold of it. Now turns around. Centering pass, no one there. From the other side. Crosses, Nelson will pick it up the bottom of the circle. Very long sustained offensive pressure here for the Wild. They've had about two, two consecutive minutes right in the Thunder zone here. Yep, good defensive knockdown of that pass. Oh. And a little bit of a delayed penalty call, but it looks like we have a tripping penalty to the uh, to the walk keep the wild here. Manuela Pedroza will be going off for two minutes or less for tripping. 
at least Harris is getting up. She went down pretty hard, so it's good to see her up. Still, still willing to play. Thunder are perfect on their first uh, first power play here. See if they can uh, repeat that feat here on the second one here and pot another goal. Yeah, up in Auckland when uh, we were shorthanded and Weeks was out, any time the opponent had it behind their own net, Weeks was all over them, keeping the pressure on, taking away time and space. Well, she's a good aggressive penalty killer. That's what you want to, when you have as much space as you do out there. So Dunedin circles around from one blue line, from the blue line, dumps it in. Now it's behind the net, centering pass broken up by Jordan with her stick. It's good to see, and they're able to get it into the neutral zone. Dunedin will regroup, try again, bring it into the zone, down to the bottom, cross pass, and Jordan just scoops it out of the air. Oh, now dumps it without the whistle, and Emma's able to send it down ice. Kill some more time on the penalty. Oh, intercepted nicely. Good save by Waka there Tipu by and nice shot. Healy eats it up, kicks it out to the side. And Nelson directing her team to kill time. And Emma's able to dump it into the zone. Now we'll get a change. And Helmsrick will come out. Lovett and Nelson behind the net, brings it about, cross front to Lovett, broken up nicely oh, by number four, but goal! Oh! Healy go for it. Thompson made a diving play as well, but just a wide open net for, uh, for Nelson that caught that puck in there. Shorthanded goal that put them up 10, uh, 10 to one with two minutes, 36 seconds left in the second period. I really have to take my hat off to the uh, Dunedin Lady Thunder. Um, they're down by huge margins, but they definitely have not given up. They're showing a lot of fight, courage, and character. No, it would have been very easy to just roll over and die after that, uh, after losing your goalie and after the start that they have, but they have uh, definitely improved their play in the second period and uh, are sticking with it, even with the result not being how they want it to be right now. Yeah, it's great, and they're going to be they're going to be hosting the uh, national championships this year. So hopefully, they can get a lot of support from the people in their town. So Wakatipu now bring it down behind the net, Mills, but broken up nicely by the defense. Six will skate it out, hits it into neutral zone, but picked up by Hollier. Hollier over to Helmrich. And Walk Tip able to get it into the zone. Penalty's over. And Manuela keeps the pressure on. Just a wrecking machine out there, knocking people over. Yes, uh, she's applying a ton of pressure in the offense, in the defensive zone here uh, for the Thunder. Yep, now uh, that's how she played up in Auckland too. It's great to see, especially for such a young player. Yeah, she's in that crew with uh, with Caitlin Hollier with the uh, with the boys' practice on Tuesday, making the boys' life uh, a little bit tough for them. <laughs> so Dunedin struggling to clear it. That'll be an offside. Just a minute twelve left in this second period here, and. Uh, Thunder looking to try and find something in this last minute here, get an another one on the board here. They've definitely improved their play in the second period, though. They have, it's quite impressive with what they've had to deal with so far. So, Wakatipu win the faceoff. Emma skates it into the zone. Bottom of the circle, dumps it back across, centering pass. Nobody there to pick it up. Dunedin now grabs it, skates it out. Dumps it into the zone, 25 will go chase her own pass, but the 12 will pick it up, try and bring it out, but broken up nicely by the defense of the Walker tip. Back to the point, kept in by Dunedin. But then knocked into neutral ice, kicked back into their own zone. And Dunedin will regather and start up. But Hollier picks it up at the point, dumps a shot wide. Dunedin still unable to clear, 24 has it, tries to center it, pass, 27 dumps it back in behind the net. Dunedin will pick it up, kick it along the boards. 
too far. And now Dunedin is able to clear it out of the zone with 10 seconds left in the period. Dunedin keeping the pressure on. Too many men on the ice for Dunedin. Yeah. And they interfered with the play, so with three seconds left in the period, looks like Dunedin's going to be getting a uh, bench minor for too many men on the ice. Just unfortunate the player couldn't quite jump off it, just barely ticked her skate before she could get off the ice there, but uh, six is one too many for this game, and uh, Wild will have a short power play here, and uh, unless they score here, they'll carry over into the third period. Kelly's drawing up some kind of play of where she wants to win the faceoff to. Looks like she wants uh, Davis to take a shot from her uh, to her left, but no. Nope. Oh, wow. good play there. Good play. Oh, oh. Lova picks up the rebound. They counted that in with no time on the clock, so that must have just got in and then under that three seconds there. That's a pretty quick goal there off that faceoff. Especially the shot and the rebound. Yeah, that's uh, that was quite impressive there. That was a well drawn up play. I think they're having a discussion about it. So I think they're discussing if they want to do a face-off or not, but I think they just, uh, I think they do have to, they have to drop the puck, I believe, but. Oh, no, they're, uh, they're just heading off the ice. Heading off the ice, that's it, that's the end of the period. Just want to double check, they're gonna allow, they have allowed that goal. Yeah, it's uh, up on the board, 11, 11 to one, so they have, there's no uh, no complaints from the, the Thunder, uh, Thunder coaching staff, so. So uh, we'll take a five minute break for 10 minutes and we'll see you in about 15.
and welcome back to Queenstown Ice Arena. Just about ready to start the third period. Waktipu Wild lead the uh, Dunedin Lady Thunder. Score of 11 to 1. While uh, the Thunder doing a much better job that period of containing the Wild, they only had uh, eight shots on that period, so they're at 24 total for the game, and uh, while they're at 13 shots for the game with seven shots on goal that period. So, so doing a much better job defensively. Having some equipment issues with uh, the goalie's pad, Healy. He's just joined us. Uh, the Needham Thunder goalie got injured and the captain Healy has assumed the duties. So we'll give a quick shout out to the team sponsors for the Waktipu Wild. Morrison's Irish Pub, Margo's Queenstown Restaurant, Golden Homes, Little Flick Fireworks, Enigma Hockey, Hotel Tahi, Tattoos and Canyon Brewing. So we have an icing call against the Wild. And Eden had a good, uh, good chance there. They had a good uh, odd man rush, but they just couldn't quite get the shot away there on, on net and see if they can do anything with this uh, offensive zone faceoff. They need to win the faceoff, and it's... Looks like one of the wild players jumped a little bit. Didn't affect the result of the draw, but they do need to uh, redrop that puck. Dunedin wins the face-off, but knocked out nicely by Emma. Dumps it up to Davis. And Lova's going to chase it in Dunedin's zone. They wrap it around the wheel. Number eight kicks it out. And Hollier gathers back in the neutral zone with good pressure on her. Good strong play holding that puck while that defender was, uh, was pressuring her. Now Nelson takes it across the line. Bottom of the circle, behind the net. Looking to dump it off. Loses it against the boards, but it's picked up nicely by Davis, I believe. Back to the point. Homebrook shoots, goes wide, and it's picked up by Dunedin. He'll kick it into the neutral zone. And dump back by the defense. Weeks has it now. Takes it in, dumps it backwards. The need and dump it into the zone. And now they'll chase it down, wraps all the way around the wheel. Then Hel Helmrich kicks it up to the point. Hollier now dumps Good it. Good keep in at the blue line there. Queenstown try to gather. Good check to the boards. Centering pass, no one there. 14 dumps it, picked up by Mills, and she loses control, but picks it back up, takes it into the zone. We'll get a shot from the top of the circle, but it shoots wide. She keeps the pressure on, but five tried to collect it up. Mills still keeping the pressure on. She regathers, brings it top of the circle. Skating, drops it off. Picked up. Nice Quick move by Kemp coming. there. Oh, good save. And goal! Looks like Bobby Weeks with another one. That was a, that was a good save initially, but the rebound bounced out. And Weeks was able to knock it home. Weeks also gets some, a lot of support from her uh, employer, Searchlight Brewery. Linesman just trying to locate the puck wherever it went. So Dunedin win the face off, gather it in their own zone, bring it into neutral ice. And 16 will skate it up, top of the circle, quick shot. Bounces off Jordan. Emma gathers it, knocks it up to the blue line. Dunedin keeps it in again quite nicely, but now it kicks out. And dumped backwards. 
And broken up again. Waka Tipu able to get it in a neutral zone. And now Manuela will chase it down. Dunedin gathers, brings it behind their net and will skate it out. Pressure on, good pressure kept on there. And Waka Tipu able to clear it into neutral ice. Dumped back in, Dunedin clears the zone. And it's wrapped up to the point. Good skills by Dunedin. Skate around our player to go aggressively get at the puck. Centering pass, unable to pull the trigger. Shot from the blue line, knocked down by the defense. And Wakatip is still unable to clear. Good pressure by Dunedin here in the offensive zone. And they knock it up to the blue line and into neutral ice. They need a nice cross pass to Orr, but knocked back into neutral zone. Good stick check there by Emma. The need will try the other side. No, rejected again. A quick pass. Haywood broken up nicely by 24. Pressure on, and now she'll skate it out the other side. Gets past Nelson. Davis picks it up. Back into neutral to Thompson. And Hollier will now start out from behind her own net. She has a hat trick tonight to Nelson, up to Lova. Lova, bottom of the circle, coming in around the net. Drops it off for Helrick. Back to Lova. Top and goal! Lova! That's her sec second of the evening there. That's about four or five points for, uh, that's about six points for Lova in this game so far today. Walk Tipu wins the faceoff. Back to Helmrich. Up to Lova. Knocks it around, but good defensive. Nelson's going to gather it behind the Dunedin net. Brings it out. She's directing traffic, telling Helrick to go back in. She's going to bottom of the circle. Is going to go try a centering pass. Now it goes behind the net to Lova. Lova turns around quickly. Now behind the net. Centering pass to Nelson out front. And Healy, the goalie, is able to jump on it and bring a stoppage in play. This is Dunedin had a few minutes of good offensive pressure there. The Wild come right back here and having some good there, good offensive pressure. <laughs> Jordan Wickham in uh, in this end here, just having a good time dancing around in the stampede crease, keeping herself warm. Walker Tipper wins the faceoff, but knocks it in a neutral zone. Now it's a foot race. Looks like Dunedin's going to win. Hit it just a little bit too hard, didn't have enough support, but Puck bounces out in front, Weeks is able to knock it into neutral zone. And now Nelson, no, 14 picks it up, drops it in, bottom of the circle, dumps it back behind her. Centering pass attempted, not able to pull the trigger on it, back to the top of the circle to Emma, bounced off the pad. Picked up on the opposite side. Weeks tries to take it in. Dunedin get control and throw it into the neutral zone. Uh, Emma will start behind her own net. Start to bring it out. Good forechecking. Pressure kept on by Dunedin. Now Weeks is able to bring it in. She has Mills wide. Oh, pass intercepted nicely by four. I think it's Thompson. And she's able to knock it out into neutral ice. Yeah, that, that was perfect. She just left the left the uh, shot for her goalie. She played the pass, and that was exactly what she did. Pick that pass up to uh, stop that two on one. So Dunedin will skate it out. Hit a little bit too far. Picked up by Wakatipu. 
and now dumped in behind the Dunedin net. Spooner decides not to chase it down, but Manuel chased it back across to 12, kept in, kept in the zone, but now knocked out into neutral ice. And Spooner taken out with a nice body check. And Dunedin will regather in their own end. Four will skate behind her net, start out fresh. Pressure put on. And outlet pass to 25 to five. She's gonna skate it down. As Dunedin does a line change, she has no support. And Wak Tipu's able to gather the puck. Unable to clear it out of the zone though. Dumped in by Hayward. And now Hollier will skate it behind her own net. Trying to get some space. Good give and go. Manuela will take it up into the zone. But Dunedin pick it up. Able to get it out of the zone. Gathered back by Helmrich. Emma has pressure on, turns around, brings it behind her own net and is going to skate it out. Nicole Watts in front of her. And she knocks it into the zone and they'll do a line change. 16 for Dunedin, will bring it out from behind her own net. And now Dunedin's on the charge. Oh. Well, a penalty Looked coming like up to the wild here. Looked like hooking. Looks or like uh, Gina Davis is going to go two minutes for hooking. 11-19 11, 11, left in this third period. That was on uh, Caitlin Healy, the sister of the now goalie of uh, Dunedin Thunder. That's uh, She's sure missing her sister up front there. They've, they're a really good pair together, uh, score, being very good offensively in their four games so far. So Wax Tipu wins the faceoff, knock it behind their own net. Emma will skate it out. And she'll dump it forward. Nelson picks it up, crosses the blue line. No pressure put on yet. And now Wak Tipu kick it back. Nelson gets it back to her own zone. They're just killing the clock. And Lova's Ooh. able to pick up her own pass. Gets broken up. Emma will take it in. Dumps it backwards. And now Orr is going to go in. Broken up nicely by Lova. Still unable to clear, it wraps around the boards behind the net. Eleven is going to dig it out. They're going to try and set up the house now. Back to the top of the circle, oh, shot save. on goal. And Jordan smothers the second shot. Those are two very, very good saves in tight on the power play. It's tough to keep yourself uh, in the game when the game's so one-sided, but you sharp on those two opportunities from the Thunder. Yeah, still give a lot of credit. Kudos out to the Needham. They're keeping their intensity up. They're still trying hard. Very easy to get demoralized out there, but they're not having a bar of it. So Dunedin wins a face-off, but the puck goes back to their own zone, into neutral zone, and now they'll skate it forward. Five takes it across. Weeks able to keep pressure on. She goes in, and a good save by Healy. And then the kick, the puck kicks out, and Dunedin's able, able to drive it into center ice. Mm. Big check by Harris. Gets Helmrich. And Dunedin will start in their own zone. Out into neutral ice. Number three will take it into the zone. And just a weak shot on Jordan, knocks it to the side. Hollier's there to pick it up, but it gets tied up from Dunedin player. And a good breakup play there by Mills. She's going to skate it out into the Dunedin zone. Doing a very good job all by her lonesome in the offensive zone, keeping that puck down, killing the last few seconds of that uh, penalty for the Wild back to even strength. Now Dunedin skates it out, cross center ice, dump it into the zone, and Emma's able to collect it, 
bring it behind her own net. Pressure's on, but up to 14. And unable to clear. Dunedin doing a nice job keeping it in, but then knock it out themselves. And dump it into the zone. Doesn't go deep. And now we have cross ice pass. Dunedin picks it up. Unable to clear it from the zone. Dumped in behind the net. 14 gathers. Tries to kick it back to the point. Deflected off a Dunedin player, and Dunedin will skate it out into center ice. Number six crossing into the zone. Good stick check by Emma. Pushes it behind the net. And it's able to be gathered by a Wak Tipu player. Brings it out, forwards it to Lova. Crosses into the Dunedin zone, bottom of the circle, behind the net. Trying to wait for a support to get there. Finally picked up, gets her own rebound. Shot broken up by the defense and they're able to clear it. Dumped back into the Dunedin zone. And Davis is chasing down. Looks like two May players were on the ice there again, not picked up by the officials. Kelly has it across the blue line, bottom of the circle. It's gonna dump it back to Lova, side, dump it down. Goal line crossing pass, good pass, good save. He always able to break it up with a stick, struggling to get back in position, and it scoots into the neutral zone, so Wok Tipple will have to clear the zone. Bad pass there, 23 picks it up, tries a shot, gets hit wide. And Wok Tipple will clear it out. Nelson brings it across center ice. She has Mills to her right. Quick shot down low, and Healy's able to save it. Good save there by Healy. Oh, a little premature goal, goal horn. Now I think they're showing support for her. Yeah, then maybe they're excited that she kept one uh, below the glass for that one, that shot. <laughs> so, Dunedin wins the faceoff. Dumps it in, pressure on from Weeks. Dumped in neutral, race to the puck. Dunedin wins, takes it into the Wok Tipper zone. Down low behind the goal line, centering pass, knock back. Danger sharp angle shot there. Yeah, good reflexes, centering pass back to the blue line. Shot knocked down by Weeks, and she'll skate it out. She has a three on two, she's quick. Dumps it down to Mills. Mills at the top of the circle. Centering pass, jumps up in the air. Scramble in front of the net and able to jump on it. Lots, uh, lots of bouncing pucks in that Dunedin then there. It's uh, getting a little exciting in front of the crease there, but Healy is equal to the packs on that one, grabbing that puck and covering it for a whistle. Yeah, she definitely seems to be getting a bit more comfortable in the position. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you. This could be a career turning point for her. She might uh, might see her strap on the pads full time as of next year. <laughs> so just an equipment issue with the goalie, but they've sorted it, and now the puck dropped. The Needham wins the faceoff, bring it behind their net. Good pressure, and the Needham is able to get it to neutral zone. I can't control it, and it's dumped back in by Wakatipu behind the net. And now side back to the point to Emma. Emma's going to skate it in. Bottom of the circle, centering pass. Dunedin knocks it out. Kept in the zone by 16. Dumps it backwards on net. Goalie's able to hit it wide. And number two, good pressure by Manuela again. And now Dunedin start from behind their own net, unable to clear back to the point. 27 keeps it in, 16 kicks it. Good hit yeah. behind the net. Dunedin tries to bring it out and they'll finally get a dump. This could be icing. So it's icing. Dunedin will not be able to do a line change. It's a tired group of girls out there at the moment. And you see the top line back out for the Wild again here, even in a 
13-1 game. This is one of those opportunities where coming into finals, it's easy to kind of give them a rest, but this is a, as good of a practice as you can get right now preparing for uh, game-like situations playing in the game when it's the game's out of reach at this point. So Wach Tipper wins the face-off. Dump it in behind the goal line. Kelly skates it out. Dumps it back in. Lowe was able to pick it up. They're just cycling it. Now it's dumped back to Nelson behind the goal line. She's going to skate it out. Back to the point. They skate it in behind the net. Passed off to... Davis, Davis isn't able to keep hold of it. It gets kicked out to the side. Lover comes down. Good defense there by Dunedin, but unable to clear the zone. Davis, good job behind the net, trying to dig it out. Lover kicks it out, and Dunedin come away with the puck. They send it out, unable to clear the zone. Nelson breaks it up. Bottom of the circle, quick pass, nobody there. And Dunedin will skate it behind their own net with Nelson keeping pressure on. Try to clear it and finally get to neutral zone. Dunedin able to do a full line change. Walk Tipu take it into the zone. And Dunedin intercept it. Trying to get it out, push it up the side. And unable to get it back to center ice. Wakatipu gather in their own zone. And they dump it in, won't be enough for icing. Watts will keep pressure on. And Dunedin will skate it out from their own. Good pass out to number eight, takes it into Wakatipu zone and just loses the handle as she crosses the blue line. Wakatipu start from behind their own net. Watts got a piece of it, but this looks like this will be icing. With about 3.21 left in the game here, we've got to just let you guys know about a few other games that are going on, on the weekend. Obviously, game two of this series starts uh, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, same place. And then we also have the Christchurch Inferno and Auckland Steel playing. They start their series off in Christchurch tomorrow afternoon at 4.30. So if you're in the Christchurch area, stop up there, or you can always catch it on the live stream as well on, uh, on YouTube, on NZWIHL, if you search that on YouTube and find the game. So Dunedin wins the face-off. Take it around, centering pass, intercepted, and cleared out of the zone by Watts. Ford turns around, dumps it in. Then Helmbrick brings it behind her own net, starts to skate it out. Dumps it up to neutral. Dunedin dumps it back in behind the net. Mills comes onto the ice. Hollier now try to skate it out from her own net. 26 gets in there, breaks it up, back to the point. Number six, slap shot, knocked down in front. And Helmrick will skate it out. He's got Mills to the right. Goes into the corner, gets checked into the boards. Dunedin picks it up, tries to bring it out, unable to. It's kept in nicely by Mills. 14 back to Weeks. Weeks dumps it in. <laughs> Hits 14 behind the net. Oh no, that was Mills. Got Mills. Emma keeps it in nicely, but Dunedin looks like they're going to get it out of the zone. Neutral ice, dump it forward, but too far. And back into neutral. Fourteen carries it into the zone. Bottom of the circle, kicks it on to Mills behind the net. She's gonna hit it back to Emma, back at the point. Emma skates it forward. Bottom of the circle, leaves it off. Kicked out in front, not able to be kept in. And they're able to clear it. Nina Kemp just uh, blowing a tire there, sliding into the boards. For those that are confused, she's wearing number 14, which is Rebecca Dobson, but uh, apparently she was uh, forgetting something when she packed her bag, and her jersey's still sitting at home on her couch. So Lova with good hustle comes in, score, Lova! And that 
that is her hat trick goal for the evening. That's a double hat trick for the, the Wild tonight with Caitlin Hollier first, and then Louisville Holmquist there finishing off a hat trick with uh, 109 left in this game. That was a good individual effort there. Good hustle, forced the pressure, got the play, made the play. Was able to get her own rebound and get a goal. Now Dunedin wins the faceoff, brings it down, almost had a two on one. Weren't able to pull the handle. Very good and defensive play by Aurora. Nelson just had a beautiful pass to Davis. Davis gathers behind the goal line, dumps it back to Nelson behind the net. Six from Dunedin will gather it up. She'll start out from her own, trying to clear it. Good stick check there by Lova, keeps it in. Tried to pass back to Nelson. And Dunedin come away with it. And they're able to finally clear it. We have about 25 seconds left in the period. Good pressure being put on here by Dunedin. Again, I can't say enough that uh, credit, that's off sides. Good credit to Dunedin for not giving up. They're still playing hard. It's great to see. No, they're doing a fantastic job. And we'll see. They might have to make an emergency call up for uh, Ashley Dickinson, see if she can make her, uh, her start tomorrow, make the drive up from Dunedin and uh, fill in for the last game of this series. Dunedin win the faceoff, but it's gathered up by Waktipu. They're able to get it out. Manuela has it, crosses the zone, shot on goal. It's a Fantastic goal by Manuela there. Wow. Manuela Pedrosa, number 48, 15 year old. That is her first goal of the season with uh, four and a half seconds left in this game. That's, uh, that's well done scoring a goal in this league here. That was a great hustle. She created her own opportunity. And that's wonderful to see. So we have four and a half seconds. It's a problem with the net. Nets come out of net position. Off. There we go. It's good on both li both linesmen and referee, making sure they're checking each other's work there, making sure the net's put on properly. Dunedin win the faceoff, gets dumped into the zone, and that'll just about do it. And it's nice to see, even in a 15 to one loss, the Thunder are very, very happy with their effort there. And that's a that's a very good uh, last two periods, all things considered, with uh, with losing your goalie after the first. That's really, really well done. Yeah, kudos to Dunedin. They never gave up. Showed great character. Looking forward to tomorrow night's game. Yeah, it'll it'll be a, a good one tomorrow. And obviously, the Wild are very, very happy with their results as well. So we'll see what the player of the games are. I think it's pretty obvious who's going to be the player of the game for the Thunder this afternoon, but uh, but uh, the Wild, there's a lot of good op options today with a lot of players playing really, really well. Yeah, definitely. With two hat tricks, the consistent play of Kelly Nelson, it's got to be a hard decision to make. Yeah, that's, uh, I wouldn't want to make that decision because you could pick a, a many of them. You could pick five or six of them, and uh, you're not going to pick a wrong answer. But hat tricks were what Weeks and Hollier? Uh, Lova, Holmquist and Lova. Ho Hollier had hat tricks there. Have a listen to Ben Rado uh, announce the player of the game here. There yeah, goes the Bobby Weeks there. She had uh, two, two goals today and was just very, very good defensively on the penalty kill and making it very difficult for the Thunder to try and get any offensive done in that, that end, in their end there. All right. No surprise there, the fill-in goalie. Abby Harris, that was, that was a very, very well played second half of that game for something you're not, not used to doing. It's very well done. Yeah, that's great. Great decisions there. Yeah.
It's good to see Lady the uh, Dunedin Thunder team still enjoying themselves. Yeah, they're they're all they're all smiles out there today. They knew they had a bit of an uphill battle in front of them, but they're still all smiles, which is fantastic. So we'll be back tomorrow night. Uh, puck drop is at seven o'clock tomorrow night. So uh, we'll we'll be on air from about six fifty-five. So. If you can't be, uh, if you if you can't uh, watch it on there and you're in town, it's a bet. Come down to the rink here. It's uh, it's a great atmosphere in here to come watch a game live. If you happen to be in Queenstown, absolutely. That we'll see you tomorrow night.